Welcome to 50 Ducks in a Hot Tub. Don't forget the ads feed the ducks and one of the most important things you can do is share the video or you can click on the link below 50ducksinahottub.com. You can get yourself a t-shirt or you can make monthly donations, one-time donations, but most importantly, enjoy the show. Doug does. Oh, You're a nut. Okay, stop it, Dougie. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh, Doug. Okay, okay, oh, Doug. Okay. Okay, you're gonna knock the camera over next. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Duck Adventure for, well, I think it's the 17th or 18th, I don't know. I'll put the right date on the screen, guys. I'm, uh, I slept in, it's about 10 after 6, <clears throat> I'm, uh, no, the Scobies are in the corner, nobody's out, yeah, nobody's out, but I want to show you, uh, I made my nesting box, I forgot to show you yesterday, it's the nesting box I came up with, it looks like there's some activity here at them. Are there any eggs, are there any nests, oh, there are any eggs there. Oh, don't put the eggs in. Oh, there's still eggs on the ground, though. I just saw a crow leave the pen. So there's a good chance to... Uh, it takes a couple days for them to figure out that's where to put the eggs. I know that's what happened with the lean-to. It took uh, about two or three days, and then before, you know, before they all started putting the eggs underneath the lean-to. But the babies were uh, inside last night, but they came out early this morning. Because I woke up at 4.30... I went back to sleep, but I woke up at 4.30, and I heard them outside. Oh, they're at the gate. You guys uh, are going to be living with the adults here real soon. Because uh, I didn't realize that I, on the calendar, guys, we got to hatch uh, next week, the 25th. Plus, we're picking up our new babies on the 24th from the feed store. So uh, these guys are actually going to get booted. In with the adults. I've got to put up some more uh, uh, my handy tarp work uh, for uh, enclosures for them. All right, let's see how much water they went through. Oh, everybody, there's some ducks in here. Oh, they almost did the whole jug, guys. Yeah, it's only there's only about two inches of water left in the bottom. What's going on in here? Oh, you guys are getting really big. Oh, it's a mess of dogs, eh? Look at that. They're getting bigger, so it's like, it's starting to look epic. Well, I'm not going to be doing a lot of uh, recording today, guys, because I've got to go to town. I've got some orders to take to the post office. I'm slowly cleaning my garage out. And um, I, I don't know if I'm going to work on my special video event today or not. We'll see how my day goes, so I won't be able to do uh, much recording. I've got to get my uh, my uh, my to-do list done because I didn't realize this weekend I've got to wash out the hatcher. I've got to get everything set up for uh, the next hatch because I'm moving the eggs. I think I'm moving the eggs either Saturday night or Sunday, so uh, I've got a I've got a busy weekend. Every day is every day is Wednesday here. They get right on top of the food. They're starting to pound her back with too. This is so cute. Oh, duck lace. You guys melt my heart. You do. Actually, duck lace. Ducks, period. I think they're ducks. This is so cute. Oh, they're duck lace. Okay, I got ducklings uh, picking on the, on the uh, touch screen, so if it turns off, that's why. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can hear that, uh, they're pounding on the camera case.
Alright guys, I'm gonna have my coffee so I can start my crazy day. And uh like I said, I gotta go to town and uh, I've got to, I, I'm, I really want to shoot my special video event that I've been thinking about all week. Um, I think it's gonna, th there's a good chance it's gonna happen today. These guys don't like to be inside. But who, you know, who blames them, uh, you know, being trapped in a barn? They're really starting to feather up with them. You can see the feathers on their wings. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going to still be on the roof. Oh, I see eggs scattered around the pen. I need a coffee before I do anything, guys. I'm, uh, like I said, I, I got up. It was about 4.30. And uh, my body said, Matt, stay in bed. And then uh, six o'clock came and my body said, no, I don't want to get out of bed. What an absolutely beautiful day. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's just the right temperature. Listen to them. I wonder how many eggs are in my uh, nesting box. Oh, the Muscovies are out, guys. All right. I think we got a problem with the females uh, off the nest here. Yeah, they don't like me. Every time they come near them, uh, they are they freak off. My last count was 10. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, they go right back to the nest on us. Oh, the, the females go back into the uh, that nesting box. But these two females are uh, doing the tag team mother. I wonder if there's more than 10. I can't get a good count. I counted on the video, I counted 10. Oh, look at this. He's so cute. Oh, sorry about the bad camera there, guys. I was watching the ducklings and not uh, the viewfinder. I gotta get out of here. They don't like me uh, coming near them. Oh, listen to this. We got some serious. Oh, the, the ducklings. All right, we're gonna do a different. Uh, a different kind of rush here this morning. Oh, look at this. They're all at the gate. <laughs> this is going to be epic, I think. Look at them all. Look at this. Yes, I know. You guys are figuring this out, aren't you? All right. Oh, I got two big ceiling here. Oh, ducks. Everybody's rushing me. Okay, we got a rush happening behind me. I know what freedom is. <laughs> so cute. I liked how they were waiting at the gate. Oh, here comes the geese. Come, come running to 
the female. All right, let's do egg recon. Let's see what's going on here with the egg situation. Oh, there's deer fly absolutely everywhere today. Oh, look at this. They got a whole uh, clump of eggs. I guess they didn't like my nesting boxes. They'd rather be right here. I wonder if they even use my nesting box. Well, I thought I saw some eggs in it this morning. Well, at least under here, the crows uh, can't get them. Actually, this morning I noticed that uh, there wasn't a lot of crow action. is slow going grabbing these can I reach this one oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I need my high-tech tool my, my my hole okay are there any others on this end of the pen yeah I shoveled this out yesterday got all that out of there it was all it was some premium feces I tell you my uh, my buddy didn't want it for his garden and I can't put it on my garden. But you know, guys, know what I, I just I realized this morning? I was <laughs> I was having breakfast. Oh, look at that. A broken egg. Oh. Where's Doug? Alright. Well, I was all just uh actually I'll put that there and they can have it. Um Yeah, this morning. You know what I realized I'm doing wrong? Oh, I couldn't believe it. I was I, I almost want to give myself a slap in the head. Um, I've been cleaning the barn out, you know, all uh, the duckling, all their feces, and, you know, the straw and that, and I'm throwing it on the compost pile, and this morning I'm thinking, why am I not wheeling the wheelbarrow into the garden and start piling the stuff in the rows? You know, so I don't have to deal with the weeds, because I'm going to have weeds. So, from this point on, every time I clean out the, uh, the, the barn, I'm putting all the straw, wheelbarrow load at a time, on the garden rows and I'll uh, I'll slowly get the garden covered but I couldn't believe it I was having breakfast standing there sitting there at the table and I thought why am I not doing this okay how many eggs did they put in here last night not many okay one two three four that's it uh. Well, they're not putting them in that corner. And they took all the straw out. Oh, I can't win with them. I just uh, I wish the little Muscovies would come out so we could get a view of them. Okay. Another one. How are doing? This actually is a getting uh, a better egg haul. You know, a couple days this week we had like next to no eggs. All right, let's go in and uh, see the babies. See what's going on there. I gotta hook this gate because the wind is just enough today that it could uh, swing shut and whack a little duck. And they're at the straw pile. Oh, yesterday I caught them in the straw pile again. They uh, they love the straw pile. Yeah, I got all oh, this whole time. I could have been throwing uh, you know straw down the rows. You know, from the, uh, the, you know, since it started sprouting. Well, better late than never. I'll start from this point on. All right. What's going on in here? Lots of little docklings. Oh, you're still good in the water. Look at them growing. Soon, guys. Really soon. I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm thinking uh, maybe Sunday, Monday. We're gonna start uh, letting you guys outside. Well, we, I gotta get this place cleaned up and get it set up ready for uh, Thursday. Well, actually Wednesday, I've gotta have it ready. It's gotta be ready Wednesday, just in case I've gotta move any, uh, you know, the hatch out because you know they could hatch two days early on us, and I'll need a place to put them. So. 
by Wednesday next week, this has to be cleaned out and set up ready for the next batch of ducklings. <laughs> Just look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> They're running around <laughs> watching me. Hello, ducks! My little ducks. <laughs> Yo, one upside down. Oh, he's corrected himself. You know, there's some little ones that, uh, you know, are really, really small. It's hard to believe, you know, uh, like right there. You know, this could be almost walk underneath. And all these ducklings are the same age. Oh, we got some runts. Like, some of them are, like that one there is really, really cute, but really small. Like, look how tiny that thing is. <laughs> We're going to have some cool looking ducks, I think, this year. I know we are. It's going to be a pretty flock. All right, guys, I got to get my work done because uh, I did let the ducks uh, out of the uh, the pen today and they are in the yard, but I have to make probably the world's fastest trip to town. The world's fastest trip to town and back uh, because I've got to take some uh, orders uh, into town. And, and thanks, guys, everybody that's buying T-shirts. You have no idea how much it's helping the duck adventure. You have absolutely no idea. Because I've got all these t-shirts in inventory and uh, you're helping me turn it into cash and, and to feed the ducks for a worthy cause this year. <laughs> They're turning their heads looking at me. So thanks again, guys. And I'm off. i got to run to town and uh, get these uh, t-shirts in the mail there everybody. There's Crooked Neck. Just found her. Right there in front of me. Much better though, much better. Just a slight tilt to its head, and it actually—it's a golden—it's a golden color. It's not a really a, even a yellow. It's like a golden lab color, but they're crooked neck. Found it, but doing much better, much better. All right, I'm gonna uh, whip the town and come back and deal with my surprise video that I'm gonna work on today for you guys. All right, guys. I've lost a hundred ducks, a hundred ducklings. I came out of the barn and they're gone. Moe's hiding over there. Mo, uh, Moe's got issues, but I, I've, I got an issue right now. I've got a hundred missing ducklings. Where are they? Okay, I was just in the barn. That's all I've been doing. I was in the barn. There's a bunch of ducks down at the water. I might even try this weekend, guys, to uh, get those hundred ducklings down uh, to the uh, the creek. I'm gonna see how my weekend goes. But uh, we've got a missing, uh, missing, missing flock of ducks here. All right, I'm gonna run the front of the house here. This is bizarre. They never go out of sight like this. Like, where are they? Oh, they're at the front of the house now. <laughs> Man, these ducks are all, they're, um, they're, they're, uh, I think I'm going to be able to get these guys to the water. After I get my special video done, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do something here. Yep, they're up here in the shade. Eating the cut grass that I did yesterday. Uh, they're eating lawn cuttings. Doug's spooking them, I think. No, Doug's not here. I thought Doug for sure followed me around the front of the house. But that doesn't even look like all of them. We're still missing some. Okay, we got, they're still missing ducks. On the other side of the house? Oh, we got a tuff of, uh, okay. You know what? I think Mo is hurting females because I've been finding these tufts of feathers around the yard. And I cut the lawn last night, guys. Uh, at the end of the day, oh, there's the rest of them. I cut the lawn last night. It was about, I think it was at 8.30 I finished. 
So there's no way that these tufts of feathers could be here. And Doug was out in the yard uh, patrolling the yard all night. So I know it's not a predator coming in because Doug, like he's been all over the yard. I, the, the dog is seriously active here. I think Mo is, uh, you know, doing some serious damage to us here because he's, uh, he seems to like right now he's hiding over there and that's what he does. He hides and then he just pounces out and he gets the females and, uh, and just totally stresses them right out. All right, you guys, I was worried there. I didn't know where you were. I was, uh, <laughs> I thought, okay, you went out of sight. Now stay away from the highway. Look at this dog. He knows exactly what I'm going to do right now. He's hot, so he wants a drink. <laughs> oh, Doug. As soon as uh, he saw me walk over to the tub here, he ran over. And he's got a pail of water on the back of the deck. He's got a pail of water over by the garage. Like, I've got water all over the place for Doug. That the ducks can't get to, so it stays clean. But, uh, you know, he wants to have the water out of the tap. Doug, you want some more? Come here. Have a drink. You want to have another drink? Here. No, I. You've had enough? No, oh, another drink. <laughs> oh, Dougie. Oh, these ducklings. Look at this. They're out front here. They're, uh, they've are they been out here for like about 40 minutes. You guys be down in the swamp with your friends. This is only part of them. The rest of them are on the side of the house. They're following the shade around. I love the sound of them at this age. I like when they're, you know, the little when they're, you know, they're first born, that sound, but this sound before they get their quack, it's so peaceful. <laughs> you know, guys, I'm wondering if we had a hawk last night. The, those two tufts over there, I wonder if we lost a little one to a hawk. It might not even be Mo on that one, but I know Mo is raping the females. Like I know I've seen it, uh, you know, Doug and I and the geese have been dealing with it, but I'm wondering if we had a hawk. Because I cut the lawn like 8.30 and uh, you know, there's no way two tufts like that could be sitting there on the, uh, the grass unless something happened after I cut the lawn. And the color of the tufts and the, the you know, the texture of it, the, the fluff, it makes, it's something that would have came off of these birds. It's possible. You never know. We are free ranging and we are surrounded by mother nature. I'm just gonna check on their water situation. Um, just to see if it needs to be freshened up. Yeah, need, I gotta freshen her up here. Relax, little ducks. Oh, look at the, okay. All right, the babies now are going in with that mother too. Well, we got mass confusion going on here. All right, let me get some fresh water. Relax, little ducks. Oh, everybody's really upset. We got some clean water for the little duckies. I just don't believe those mothers, the two of them being, uh, you know, dual moms. Yeah, and that egg that uh, pipped through is gone, guys. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. You know, when I uh, clean that egg, uh, that, that that nest out, I'm going to be interested to see if I find it. Maybe it did hatch. Who knows? How are you doing, little duck? You've been on a nest forever. I think your eggs might be done. Oh, I'm gonna freshen this water up here. I got uh, two stations of fresh water. So, uh, hopefully uh, everything goes all right here. I'm, uh, the, the fighting, there was a little bit of fighting yesterday, but not like there was before when we had all those females in here. It, uh, 
It, it was, I th I have, if my memory serves me right, I, there was only two incidents yesterday where there was a bunch of fighting. So it was much better. I think it's just because there's a lot less birds in there. All right. I'm going to uh, take care of my, uh, my t-shirt orders, run to town really quick, and then come back here, and I'm going to work on my surprise for you guys. Look at this, guys. They're, uh, the mother finally brought them outside. And of course, as soon as I come out here to film them, they got to hide behind a tree. Just look at that. Two mothers taking care of one batch. And the two mothers seem to be getting along. Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna try to walk around. She might, it might end up, uh, she might go inside. Mo's at it again. Man, he won't stop. All right, let's go around. I haven't even gotten to town yet, guys. I've been doing uh, orders. I had more stuff to ship than I thought. And I still have to do my special video. But, uh... Oh, yeah. Doug! Do your job! Oh, do not chase a white bird. Dog. Oh, <laughs> dog. Doug, come here! Come, Moe's doing it again. As soon as the scoby started to fly, he got totally confused and went after the wrong bird. Okay, I'll try to get a shot here. Oh, it's going in. So, how many are there? Oh, now they're following the other mother. Looks like 10, guys. I'm, uh, I'm counting here uh, Braille on the little tiny screen, so. There, I'm really, I can't see anything. It's a blur. Everything you guys watch, it's like a surprise to me when I'm editing. They're so tiny, though, uh, compared to the last Muscovies, though. They're really possessive. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, they're really possessive, though, because I can't get anywhere near them. I wonder if they know what I'm up to. Or what I could potentially be up to. Hang on. Right, I'm trying to film here uh, without going through the wire. They're so yellow. I wonder which one uh, that is that came off the nest. It's just bizarre that the two mothers are uh, hanging with each other. But I, I think it's 10. I've counted twice now that I've gotten the number 10, so. Well, the little Muscovy's trying to do a prison break. <laughs> That's so cute. Alright, well I've got to give my dog a spray off here. He is, uh, we have to whip into town. I have no idea where the babies are. Oh, they're on the side of the house. Duck favorite spot in the shade on the side of the house. I'll give you a shot before I leave. I'm going to go to town and back really fast here, so I'm not too worried. I'm on a mission. It's going to be like run into the post office, throw the parcels at them, and then uh, get back here. Okay, that's not even all of them. We're missing a bunch of ducks. There must be another group hiding somewhere. They sort of get up and they don't get up when Doug comes around. It's uh... <laughs> it's, it's like they know it's him, but they don't know if they should move or not. 
It's really, it's brutally warm today. Actually, it's uh, my head is actually starting to cook, and I've only been outside here for about 10 minutes. Well, it's time for the special video. I'm going to put a whole bunch of ducklings in this whirlpool tub. Now, I've got to wait for it to uh, the hot water tank to warm up a little bit more because you're not going to believe it, guys. Long story short, um, I went to turn the tub on, forgot how to turn it on, it wouldn't turn it on, and then I had to drain it uh, to take it all apart to find out that uh, I had turned it on wrong. I haven't used this thing in four years. Uh, so, anyways, uh, I've wasted a whole uh, hot water tank, so I'm just waiting for it to heat up. Um, I'm going to go to the barn, I'm going to pick up the, the strongest ducklings. I, I'm thinking probably, I think 50 ducklings would be good, eh? 50 ducklings or 100 ducklings. I think 100 would be too many in this tub. It's a big tub. But I think 100 to be too tight. But we're going to do 50 in and we'll see how it goes. Um, now, I'm, I'm, the reason I'm waiting for the hot water tank is because ducklings, you can't put them in cold water. Like my well water is like 50 degrees. And, uh, you know, to put 50 ducklings or, you know, 100 ducklings in here, it doesn't matter. Um, by the time I get them all in there, set up the camera, film it and everything like that, they would catch a chill. And I don't want to do that to my little ducklings because, you know, I, I love my little ducklings. So I've got the water, it's going to be about 92 to 95 degrees, uh, so it's nice and warm for them. So actually they're going to have a blast in it. They're going to be, I think we're going to get some epic footage here of uh, 50 ducklings in a whirlpool tub. I think it's going to be 50, because I think 50 in here. We'll see uh, when I get them, uh, I'm going to get them in uh, tubs. I've got a bunch of big tubs down in the house, or downstairs in the back room. I'm going to get them ready, I'm going to go down there, and I'm going to find the 50 biggest, uh, the strongest uh, ducklings, and we'll uh, we'll see what 50 looks like, and maybe we can stretch it. It's either going to be 50 or 100, but i got a hunch it's going to be 50. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I already did three trays without the pivot heads on. So I've got three trays up in the house already. Um, I've actually got uh, uh, 45 uh, ducklings. But I'm going to go, I think I'm going to put 60 in, but we'll call it 50. No one's going to, you know, you can't get in trouble for being over. But you know how the internet is. You'll definitely be in trouble for being under. So, 100 is too many. I, I, I just know right off the bat. It might not be, but uh, I don't want to uh, stress the ducks out here. And I'm, uh, you know, I'm trying to catch them without stressing them here. And I only want like big ducks. I don't want the little ones. That little the duck's gonna try to jump out. Oh. Doug doesn't like what I'm doing. He's uh Oh the Muscovy jumped out. Okay, so that's I'm back to two. See I did the Muscovies at first. And I did them in the um, in a, a much deeper. Oh, oh no, not that guy. Oh, here's one. Relax, little ducks. So we got a big thunderstorm coming. Um, actually, they're calling for hail. Not a good thing for the garden, but. two good ones so that's that two four six eight ten one. That's one. relax everybody I'm not chasing you that's the only thing I'm not doing guys I'm not chasing them I'm uh, I'm just getting them basically into the corner and then I quickly reach in and grab the ones I want because um, you know I just not I don't want to stress them out. They have no idea they're going to go play in some really really warm water. Relax, little duck. You're losing your, your marbles here on me. So what do we got? We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we'll grab two more for luck. I know I'm definitely over the, uh, the 50 mark. 
Watch, I'll go up to the house and there's a bunch of ducklings running around my mudroom. Okay, I'm looking for one. Oh, there's a nice big guy. Oh, no, missed him. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. Okay, that's it. Let's go up and do the crazy. These guys are going to be hightailing it inside soon. Because uh, the weather warning on the internet is calling for uh, like 45 millimeters of rain per hour. So that's like uh, like an inch and three quarters per hour. I put down uh, a towel in the bottom of all the plastic because I don't want them to uh, slip and hurt their um, uh, their legs. So because we're trying to be, I'm trying to be as uh, animal responsible as possible. Look at Dougie licking them. Okay, Dougie, <laughs> you're stressing them out. <laughs> Come on, back up. We don't need to give them baths. All right. Okay, I just gotta wash my boots because I've got duck poop all over them. And we'll go up to the house, up to the upstairs, and uh, fill the top up. The hot water tank should be warm enough now. Well, everybody's calmed down. Look at it. Actually, this these guys are actually going to sleep. Look how calm they are. Look at that dog out there watching them. Eh? I can't do anything with the ducks, and he's not like right there watching me. All right, let's take some ducks upstairs to my bedroom. Oh, I never thought I'd say that. Oh, the duckies, you want to come to my bedroom? Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm taking ducks to my bedroom. Set of duckies. Yeah, a hundred. Well, I could have done a hundred ducks, ducklings if I had someone here helping, but it's just me. Actually, I was hoping Charles was going to stay overnight, him and his wife, because I was going to get them to uh, help, but they, uh, his wife, wanted to go to Niagara Falls. Oh, duckies barking. Have you seen the duckies? Oh, you guys are really relaxed. Now I, I didn't I wouldn't do this guys with uh, younger ducklings just for the simple fact is that they're just not strong enough you know like letting uh, a, you know a couple ducklings play in a kitchen sink is one thing but uh, you know to put this many ducks in water um, it's very irresponsible oh look at this one relax everybody <laughs> all right and there's all the duck things we're gonna put into my bathtub oh this is crazy all right guys um, I've got the water in here and the temperature is it looks like it's 88 degrees. Yeah, 88 degree water. Okay, so the water is nice and warm. And we got a crazy storm blowing in. All right, time to put the duckies in the in the bathtub. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, I gotta go uh, and take care of a storm problem here. We got a wicked storm blowing in and I got ducklings panicking running all over the yard. So I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Oh, we had a wicked storm blowing in and you're not gonna believe it. I didn't really need to go out there because the geese were, were rounding up all the ducklings, uh, but I had to get them into the pen so that they, uh, they were scattering, like they were running towards the bush and the storm uh, was freaking them right out. Okay, so let's, start, let's get going um, on this crazy idea of making my bathtub disgusting. All right, little ducklings. 
Oh. Oh, look at this. Water. This is nuts. We got faster pooping. I put it on jumping. Alright. Oh, the water gets dirty fast. Alright, in and in. So, 50 ducks in a bathtub. Just look at those. Relax, everybody. Ducklings are down at the barn. I uh, I heard I got them down there really fast. I, I got the heat cranked up in the uh, the barn uh, to like 85 degrees ambient temperature plus the heat lamp, so they'll dry out. We're gonna go down there in a second. Just gotta give this a quick rinse before it dries out and I have hardened poop in my uh, my uh, uh, tub. And guys, the reason I didn't turn the whirlpool on um, is because the ducklings, like I told you before in the video, is that they don't have any oil on their uh, their down, so they absorb water. And if I would have turned on the uh, uh, the jets, it would have drowned them because the current would have sucked them under and we would have had a whole bunch of dead ducklings. And that's the last thing I want to do here is hurt any ducklings. So that's why. I know everybody's going to ask me, you know, why didn't you turn it on? That's the reason. If they were full grown ducks, hey, you could crank it on because they'd have the oil on their feathers. Or even the ducks that are outside right now, the 100 ducklings that are outside, uh, they have enough oil on their down now that they could have, you know, been in here. And I'm not bringing them in, um, but they could have been in here with the whirlpool running. And, you know, but it also makes a big mess because all the poop gets within the pipes of the whirlpool. So we don't want to do that. Well, I don't want to do that because it means it's more of a cleanup for me. So I'm going to give this a quick rinse before it hardens. Then we'll go down to the barn and we'll take a look at the little wet ducklings. Well, it's pouring rain out. I've got the plastic uh, bag I made last fall on the top of the camera. Look at this. The, uh, oh, the camera's getting wet here. The wind's grabbing my raincoat from my camera. We've got some ducklings in there. Oh, Dougie came out. <laughs> I'm surprised. He's been in the back. But the ducks, the adult ducks are all over the place. They're enjoying the rain. But let's go in and see the babies. This is all soaking wet. This is brown rats. All right. Oh, Doug's coming in. Oh, it's really warm in here. Like, really, really warm. All right. Oh, they're, they're drying themselves off. Okay, let me just get rid of this raincoat for the camera. All right. Okay, so we got a bunch of, of wet ducks over there. Oh, Doug's in here. Dougie! <laughs> Sorry about the fast camera there, uh, the flip around on zoom. Look at them all dry themselves off. So like I got, like I said guys, never do this with cold water. Uh, it has to be warm at least, you know, in the 88, 90 degree range uh, because they will, it will suck all the heat out of their body and uh, they will like just get, they'll, they'll die. So, you want them to have well, you want it to be warm water. And make sure you don't leave them in the water too long because of the fact that their their flops will absorb the water and they actually start to sink. But they're they're drying themselves out here and cuddling with everybody else. And no ducklings were injured or hurt in this uh, adventure. So I'm gonna go and wash my bathtub now because I have to clean it all up. And I'm going to close the door so that it gets nice and warm in here. I've, like I said, I've got the uh, the infrared heater running. Actually, I'll just show you. It's nice and red up there, so the glow. So I've got that running plus two heat lamps. So there's like 2,000 watts of heat running. So I'll come down here in an hour. Uh, everybody should be dry by then, and I can turn the heat down. And like I said earlier, guys, the water has to be warm, and you know at least like the 88, 90 degree water. 
You can't leave them in their lawn because they will absorb the water because they've got no oil in their, their fluff and they will become anchors and your ducklings will drown on you. Uh, you know, like, like I had them in there for like a minute. That was it. Uh, that, it was so fast. It was see, the amount of work that I, that I did for less than a minute of footage. It was, that's just to give you an idea. Like it's, it, it, crazy, crazy stuff. But like I said, you know, be very careful if you're going to put your ducklings in water uh, because if they don't have any oil, and I keep harping on these guys, you're going to have dead ducklings if you don't listen. They will absorb the water and they will die. They will just drown. They will sink to the bottom and you'll have a dead uh, duckling in your, uh, you know, in your sink, your bathtub or whatever you're doing. That was a crazy storm. Um, oh, look at this. Look at the Muscovies. Like this is soaked. The ducks were just out here. Uh, I had to run around and close every window in the house. Um, the rain was coming down in sheets while well, the swamps flooded. That's how much water came down really fast. My neighbor will be happy. He was uh, holding off water in his garden. But it wasn't enough to flood or wash anything away. So that's a good that's a good thing. So let's go check the ducklings here. Um, they should be uh, warm enough that I can, or dry enough, I should say, I can turn the heat down. Oh yeah, she's warm in here. Oh boy, she's like a wall of heat hitting you. Oh yeah, they're all dried up. Cranky heat down. Oh, look at them. Look at the little ducklings. Everybody's all dry. Actually, there's a whole bunch of clean ones. I wonder why. Oh, they had a bath. I forgot. Well, let's look at them. Look how white uh, the yellow and the scobies are now. Because it was, there was a lot of muscovies uh, that I took up with me in the bathtub. Everybody's nice and clean. Alright, I'm going to turn this heat down. This heat is like an oven in here right now. Alright. You guys are going to do any running for us? I guess not, eh? All right, I'm gonna get the water hopped in for them so that they have enough water for the night because there's only about two inches left in the bottom of that. It looks like they're, uh, I think it's because it's so warm in here they're laying down and relaxing. I know there's an awful lot of clean ducks. Holy boys, they're just as yellow as could be. And you can tell the ones that didn't have a bath, they're dirty. All right, I'm gonna get the water happening. No, you're not going to run. I thought here I'm holding the camera in the right position for a burst. Nope. Not going to cooperate. I think it is because of the heat. Uh, because they're really lazy. They're all sleeping. They're doing nothing. But I've turned the heat down now, so everybody's dried out. That was a lot of work. Oh, man. I, I think about it. You know, you do those videos, uh, you know, those, uh, those, you know, like the 50 ducks in the hot tub video. Well, that was actually a ton of work. That was, that was actually two days worth of work. Two days worth of work to clean that one up. At least this one wasn't two days. I, but if I would have turned that uh, pump on, well, one, I would have drowned a bunch of ducklings. But uh, it would have just, I would have had a problem because the tub would have, unlike the hot tub, I couldn't rinse it out. So, but I'm, uh, I won't be doing that again. I, I've done my fill of, uh, you know, ducks in hot tubs and bathtubs and that. I'm, uh, I think I, I probably will hold the record for a while. Someone might beat me on the bathtub one, but they're, I don't think they're going to beat me on the hot tub one because that was epic. All right, guys, I'm, uh, I'm done for the night. My ducks are, are going to relax. I'm going to come back out here later when it's dark and I'm going to lock them up. Oh, there's the Muscovies. They're out. You know, every time I come out here, they go back in. They're going back into the shed. Oh. We're never going to get these good birds on camera. There they are. Every time I come out, they do this. These mothers are really, really, really uh, uh, protective, reclusive, whatever you want to call them. But they're, uh, I don't know if it's because I took the last babies that they just don't, uh, they don't trust me. I don't know. Oh, look at this. The ducklings want out, but you can't because it's going to be dark here in like 45 minutes. I'm going to throw at the gate. Sorry, guys. In the morning, I'll let you out. You've got food, you got water, and you got lots of places to uh, rest for the night.
<laughs> they like kids. One track mine. Let us out. Oh, Muscovy, look at you. You need some new feathers, bad. You were playing in the mud puddles. You know, Muscovies are the worst ducks for looking bad. It's uh, they just they don't have enough oil on their feathers. That's the problem. <laughs> Everybody's uh, just relaxing here after the crazy storm. And they were all standing up attention in the storm. It was really, uh, <laughs> that's one thing I love about these animals. The nastier the weather, it, the, the, the more they run into it and just absorb it. The Muscovies, you know, the Muscovies are the only ducks that are wet. If you look at them. Every other duck is not like it's. Uh, they, they just don't have the uh, the, wa the uh, water repellency compared to like a mallard or a peking. I mean, a, a peking or a ruin. But you know, last year's uh, Muscovies, which are those ones right there, uh, you know, they were at the lake all the time. It seems once they get away from the lake, uh, they just don't have that. Uh, you know, that water repellency like the other ducks and geese do, or the geese are. They're just amazing the way, uh, I couldn't believe it during the storm, guys. I looked outside and I saw the, the ducklings all running, so I, you know, I shut down what I was doing upstairs and ran outside. By the time I got outside, the geese had already circled the freaked out ducklings. It was like, the, well, the ducklings were panicking because the storm just blew in so fast that uh, the geese ran around them to calm them down. It was too bad that it was raining too hard for me to uh, take the camera out because it was pretty neat seeing the uh, the geese circle them. And as soon as the geese circle the uh, the ducklings, uh, calm right down. They just calm. They stop running because they were bolting across the yard. They were panicking. They were running across, running across there. And as soon as the geese circled them, they just stopped. And then they, they worked their way back to the pen. And it was actually really easy to get them in because the geese had calmed them down. You're the worst dog, Doug. You are. I'm <laughs> done. <laughs> okay, Doug. Okay, relax. <laughs> okay. No, forget about the bird. No, Doug. Forget about the birds. Come here. Come, come here. Come here, Doug. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come, Doug, come here. Sit.